I'm here with Oscar De La Hoya, the Golden Boy. How you doing, Oscar? I'm good, brother. I'm good. Just Welcome back. Fresh. Welcome back to the Texas Heat. <laughs> it's great, man. I love it. Hey, Virgil. Virgil's had a year off almost to the day. Yeah. You went through this with Ryan Garcia yeah. as well. Yeah. What? How's Virgil looking to you, and and is he ready to get back on on stride here? Yeah. Look, I mean, with Virgil and Ryan, it's a whole different story um, of why were they were they they were off for for quite a while. You know, Virgil, he got sick his last his last outing uh, when he was supposed to fight the Kinson. Um, you know, and uh, and then there's a problem of fighters not wanting to fight Virgil. And that's the God honest truth. So, but we have plans, you know, we have plans where we can take Virgil and, uh, and, and force Virgil to fight everybody by being the mandatory, by, uh, by forcing him through the WBA, WBC, IBF, WBO. Um, you just gotta force him, that's it, and fight. And that's what Virgil does, is fight. So eventually the champions have to face him. There's no, there's no running away from Virgil. So that's the route he's gonna take. We're almost there. He's uh, number one in the world with everybody. So once Crawford and, uh, and Spence fight, then Virgil gets the win. I talked to Crawford the other day and he, had, he said great things about yeah. Virgil. He's been at his fights and everything. If that Spence fight does fall through, as we know, you never know, he, he would fight him, he said. Would you put that fight together? I would put it together in a heartbeat. I love that fight. It's, it's probably the best fight in the welterweight division in, in recent years. Um, it's a tough fight. I love Crawford. I have amazing things to say about him. He's a great champion. Uh, but Virgil Ortiz is my guy and, uh, you know, styles make fights. And I think that'll be, that'll be a hell of a fight. If, if the Spence fight doesn't happen, let us know because we're right here waiting. And last question, last question, Oscar. You were in super fights. You also fought uh, uh, Crosstown Rivals and Shane Mosley. Yeah. Virgil and Spence, if that fight falls sure. through at Cowboy Stadium. Sure. I mean, look, anything's possible. So either way, whoever falls off, we're ready to step in. That's the bottom line. I mean, against Crawford or against Spence. I, I remember, uh, I remember uh, Ortiz uh, telling Jerry Jones that sooner or later I'm gonna fill up this stadium for you, this Dallas Cowboy Stadium. And if a Spence fight happens with Virgil Ortiz, that's exactly what's gonna happen. Uh, we'll fill up the stadium. So, you know, I mean, do dreams come true in America? Absolutely. What about bringing Ryan and Tank here since he likes since uh, Ryan likes Texas? Yeah. So we're uh, we're keeping all negotiations on a on a down low. But I can tell you one thing, uh, they're moving. So, so we'll see where we all want to take it. Uh, if it's going to be here in Texas and Vegas, who knows? Maybe Dubai's got some crazy money out there. So we'll see. <laughs> the Golden Boy, Oscar De La Hoya, Jeff Zimmerman, FightNews.com. Thanks, Bye. Oscar. You got it.